Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is your horoscope for the full moon in Capricorn, which happens on 24th June 2021. But before we begin, I would like to let you know that I do daily video horoscopes that I post on my YouTube channel every single day. I do weekly video horoscopes that I post every single week. And I also do monthly horoscopes and monthly sunrise and sign horoscopes that I post every single month. Now, I also request you to hit the bell icon, hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. Okay, so let's get started. The full moon in Capricorn on June 24th is happening at three degrees of Capricorn right here. The moon is here and the sun is here. They're making a 180 degree angle. They're opposing each other. Now that is a full moon. So it's about 11.40 a.m. Pacific time, which makes it about midnight India time. And let's talk about a full moon before we discuss further. A full moon typically is a completion point. It's a culmination point. It's also a release of emotions. And most importantly, a full moon is a night where the light in the sky is the brightest, which means that we can see things clearly. So a full moon is when we can begin to see things clearly. And what are we seeing clearly on this full moon in Capricorn. Well, first of all, we are seeing the new moon in Capricorn very clearly, which happened in January of 2021. Second, we are seeing what started for us on June 10th with the new moon in Gemini. We are seeing that clearly as well. So a lot of moving parts to the full moon. We'll talk about that more in depth. but. Before we get into the details, just know that a full moon is when things complete themselves, things culminate themselves, things reveal themselves. We get a better understanding of what conspired during the new moon. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's talk about this full moon. Now, this full moon is a really special full moon. And it's really special because it ties into many new beginnings we've had in the past year and a half. And the most important of those beginnings is the Saturn Pluto conjunction that happened in January of 2020. Now let's talk about that for a moment. So in January of 2020, Saturn right here and Pluto right here, they met up, they conjuncted. They met up at 22 degrees of Capricorn. And these two planets meet up rarely, once in 33 to 38 years. And when they met up in Jan of 2020, they ended a cycle that began in 1982, which was in the sign of Libra and started a new cycle, which happened in the sign of Capricorn. And very simply put, our material reality in some way, shape or form shifted in a very powerful way. And you can look at 22 degrees of Capricorn in your chart to know which house was affected the most and to know which area of your life changed the most with this conjunction in January of 2020. Now, bear, stick with me for a moment because I'm going to give you a little bit of background and explain to you why this full moon ties back to that. So that happened in January of 2020. However, we did not have a new moon in Capricorn till January of 2021. Okay, that's one. Two, till October of 2020. October of 2020, we still had the old Libra energy with us because the old Saturn Pluto conjunction that happened in 1982 was in the sign of Libra. Yes, in Jan 2020, we began a new cycle, but it was like a new cycle began, but the Libra energy still continued with us of the old 1982 cycle. But in October, with the new moon in Libra, that Libra Libran energy started to move away. It went away. And now we were just left with the new cycle, the new Capricorn cycle of Saturn and Pluto. Now that was October 2020. Come Jan of 2021, we had the first new moon in Capricorn without the Libra energy. Right? So that was the time when that Saturn-Pluto conjunction that happened in Jan of 2020 became more real, became more visible, became more palpable. And this was in January of 2021, so a year later. And now this full moon in Capricorn is the culmination point of the new moon that happened in January. So that is why this 
full moon in Capricorn who is the point where that January conjunction 2020 of Saturn and Pluto will fully reveal itself, will fully show its true colors, where we'll fully be able to understand, yeah, this is what the change was. And I'm just going to sum it up really quick. Jan 2020, Saturn Pluto conjuncted. They started a new cycle in Capricorn. Till October of 2020, we carried the old Libran cycle with us in our energy. And October, the old Libran cycle went away, and we were only left with the Saturn Pluto conjunction in Capricorn energy. And that came more alive, became more visible in January of 2021. And now, with this full moon in Capricorn, we're fully culminating that cycle. It's showing what it was. It's revealing itself. We're understanding it with more clarity. And this Saturn Pluto conjunction will stay with us till 2053. So it's a big, it's a long, long cycle. It's a long cycle. And these few years, we are setting the base for the next many years till 2053. So that's why this full moon in Capricorn is really, really special. And of course, the other thing is that it is going to also reveal or show you clearly what started on June 10th for you with the new moon in Gemini, new moon solar eclipse in Gemini. Okay, so that was the background. And now I'll go over the aspects. And this full moon in Capricorn is really not making many aspects. It's making one important aspect. So let me clean up the chart and then show you. So the moon right here is sextiling Jupiter. This is pretty much the most important aspect this full moon in Capricorn is making, is a sextile to Jupiter. And since the moon is in a sextile to Jupiter, we have been witnessing the sun and Jupiter trying for the past two days that is also still on with this full moon in Capricorn. And what does this mean? Jupiter is the most benefic planet. It's the planet of gifts. It's the planet of knowledge, of wisdom, of healing. It also heals things. And with a sextile, a 60 degree angle, which is positive in astrology, this full moon is all about blessings, it's all about gifts, it's all about optimism, hope, and yes, it's, it, it is connected to the past, because Jupiter is retrograde, but not the very distant past, something very recent, because it just went retrograde. On June 20th, it went retrograde on June 20th, yeah. So... This full moon in Capricorn, I think, will bring a lot of blessings with it. And these blessings have been um, seeding themselves for a year and a half. Yes, also connected to the recent past because Jupiter just went retrograde, but definitely connected to the saturn Pluto conjunction cycle that happened in January 2020. And with the trine to the sun, Jupiter trining the sun 120 degree angle positive, this is a moment where even our soul, our consciousness, our identity, who we are becoming, will be infused with a lot of hope, with a lot of optimism, with a lot of joy. Perhaps there will be some sort of blessing or gift connected to our identity. Perhaps we might develop some wisdom, wisdom of the soul, because the sun is our soul as well. Perhaps it may clean out or heal our consciousness, our identity. I don't know exactly what, but it is positive. So I, I think this is a very positive culmination of the new moon solar eclipse that happened on June 10th, of the new moon in Capricorn that happened about, I think it was Jan 13th or 14th, if I'm not mistaken, 2021, and of the Saturn-Pluto conjunction cycle that goes back to last January. So a lot of cycles coming together and revealing themselves. And what is Capricorn? Let, let's talk about Capricorn for a moment. All that is great. These cycles are coming together and revealing themselves. But let's talk about Capricorn by itself. Capricorn is the sign of hard work, discipline, decisions. It's, it rules the top of the chart. Capricorn is the sign that rules the 10th house, right? And what is the 10th house? 10th house 
is the house of your career. It's the house of your business. It's the house of public life. It's the highest point in your chart. The MC lies in like your 10th house is right there next to the MC. And why is this important? This is important because Capricorn is also a material reality. It is ruled by Saturn, the ruler of our material reality, and Capricorn is our material reality. So when we have conjunctions, new moons, full moons in Capricorn, they are very visible, they're very tangible, they're very palpable because it is very much connected to our material reality. Right? So this positive full moon that's going to happen will definitely, definitely impact our material reality. Certain um, full moons and new moons work internally, a lot of internal change, a lot of emotional change, maybe a thinking changes or something like that. But this full moon is in the sign of Capricorn, our reality. So it will reveal itself in our reality in a powerful way. And I, and, and I do believe it is positive because this, uh, the moon is in a sextile to Jupiter right here and the sun is in a trine to Jupiter. And wherever Jupiter is, I do believe, especially with new moon and full moon, it does lead to a lot of positivity, a lot of hope, a lot of optimism. And now, like I said, this, this full moon is making only one important aspect. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, now let's move on, let's move on. Let's move on to what's been, what's in the background, the underlying layers of this full moon. And the first of those layers is that as we go through the full moon, we are in the Uranus Saturn square energy. While we are fully understanding what transpired back in Jan of 2020, Jan of 2021, June 10th, 2021, the universe is also asking us to transform to, trans, to change, to get rid of all things with the Saturn round square and come into our uniqueness. So that's another thing that's that's happening in the background. This energy will be with us all year, but it peaked out on June 23rd, uh, June 14th. The square came exact on June 14th. So it's barely, what, 10 days after this square came exact, which means the intensity of the energy of the universe demanding us to change, demanding us to get rid of old things, demanding us to embrace the new and demanding us to embrace our uniqueness, our authentic self is very intense, is very high. So we must, while our reality is shifting in a positive way, while we are getting an understanding of what transpired in the past, we still need to continue changing, we still need to become our authentic self. And at the same time, speaking of transformation, yesterday, it was yesterday that Pluto and Venus opposed each other, which was a day of transformation to our um, relationships, love, money, finances, self-worth, value, skills. And even now, as we enter the full moon energy, we are still, the orb is really close one degree, we are still transforming those things in our life. We are still changing those things in our life, all Venus related things. And, and right now, right now, the Saturn Chiron sextile energy, 60 degree angle, is also very intense. They are almost exact 1242 and 1244. And uh, Chiron and Saturn have been sextiling for a few months now. The square, uh, the sextile came exact in Feb, and this energy is all about taking decisions, building something, being disciplined, in some way, shape, or form, to heal our identity. Chiron, Chiron and Aries, and we've been working on that since Feb, since Feb 9th, I think it came exact in Feb 9th. I could be mistaken, but that's what's been happening. And now with this full moon, they're almost exact, which means that this is the time we might need to take some decision, really continue on our path of building towards something that will heal our identity, 
and this will feel quite easy it'll come quite naturally to us it's not like oh god i have to take this decision and i'm not able to know it's not like that it's like okay this is it and i'm going with this and that's been happening since then so even on this full moon there will be some sort of decision like that understanding like that or yeah i want to build this i'm going for it that sort of energy and that's pretty much it it's a pretty straightforward full moon it's very important but it's straightforward it's not making any difficult aspects the only aspect it's making is a positive one to jupiter so i would say it is a blessing this full moon it is a deep understanding of what has happened for the past year and a half and it is also a moment where we may see a lot of changes to our material reality because pluto is opposing venus we are in the sign the full moon is happening the sign of capricorn the sign of our material reality and we also have the saturn around the square so quite intensely so that's all i'm going to say and i will pick a card for the day and then for the full moon energy and then we'll wrap up the reading Okay, I have two cards right here, so let's see. First, Observer, and it says Orphaned. Not too happy about this card. Okay, anyway, so Observer, I think Observer because we may understand what's been happening, we may receive information clarity on what has transpired in the past one and a half years if we observe if we go within if we think about things so perhaps some sort of observation is required some sort of uh, thinking about things is required to really gain clarity on what's been happening and seeing things clearly Orphan, I really don't know what to make of this card. I will pick another card to clarify this one. But it's a very sad card. It's a very sad card. And the only thing that comes to my mind, to be honest with you, is that this full moon is really not making any aspect. It's alone. It's by itself. The only aspect is to Jupiter, which is positive. So perhaps this is connected to something that is very distinct in our lives. From There's like one area of our life that's very distinct from the rest. That this full moon will change or bring clarity about perhaps the area of our life is not really connected to other areas of our life i don't really know if that makes sense but i'm going to pick another card to clarify that okay it says two more cards no place like home and loyal heart so these are both positive cards and i think let's start with the no place like home i think no place like home is that we have to find some sort of comfort and again i think this goes back to like home is also connected to our deepest emotions it's where we can be ourselves completely and freely and I, I think this is, this full moon will really push us in some ways to be free the way we can be at home with the Saturn Uranus square. And I, I, I think this, this card is a very happy card. It's like I found my comfort. Perhaps this full moon with the Jupiter aspect, we will find our comfort, we'll find our home, and we'll find the place that makes us feel that we are home. And then loyal heart. Now this card came up in one of my daily readings and I said this card to me signifies lovers, but it's not really lovers, it's also staying true to the path. Right? So while this full moon will bring blessings and understandings, we still have a lot of work left to do. We still have this Saturn Uranus square energy that will be with us all year, and it's about change. And this change is not an easy change. It will feel intense. We also have the Saturn 
Jupiter conjunction cycle that started in December of 2020, and we will build that for the next two years. And with so much intensity, so much energy, so many new cycle, like two new cycles that's happened uh, that have happened after many many years, and the Saturn Uranus square, I think it's easy to kind of lose our way. You know, say that I'm tired, I'm tired, I want to give up. Nothing's working out. I'm putting in all this effort. I don't see the results. And I think this card keeps reminding us that stay loyal to your path. You know, stay loyal to what you believe in. Continue with the work. And this card orphaned, the only explanation I can give you is that it's probably not making any aspects to meet the full moon and that's why it's by itself. And this full moon perhaps is going to reveal something in a very specific area of your life. Look at 22 degrees of Capricorn in your chart and which house it lies in and that's the area that really changed in January of 2020. So perhaps it's referring to that area, one area. But apart from that, I do believe this full moon is positive and it will make us find our comfort, give us peace. We may need to go within with the observer card and really think about what happened. We may need to check our charts, I don't know. And it constantly reminds us that we are building, stay loyal, don't give up. Because the energy is very intense. It is very intense, let's face it. It has been intense for the past year and a half. And sometimes it's not easy, but we get reminders that we must continue and we must continue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Do hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the daily horoscope. And have a great day. Bye.